I'm Jeff Tidball from Atlas Games, and today I want to show you Never Bring a Knife. In Never Bring a Knife, you are part of a criminal gang, and you have been planning the heist of a lifetime for months. Now the heist went down, everything went perfectly according to plan, and you are running out the front doors of the casino with duffel bags full of money when suddenly, somebody gets a tip that cops have infiltrated your gang. The guns come out and the bullets start to fly. Now, the gunfight is gonna go on until somebody falls and when that happens, everybody on that player's team, the cops or the criminals, is gonna lose. Everybody on the other team is gonna win. So let's have a look and see how that goes down. Never Bring a Knife has got four different kinds of cards. First, we've got roll cards. There are cop cards, and there are criminal cards. Everybody's gonna get one of these to tell them which team that they're on. Next, wound cards. If you get three wound cards, you are out of the game, so you want to avoid taking these at any costs. They got a dark side and they got a bright side so that it's easy to tell which ones are still on the deck and which ones are on players. Got some reference cards. There's eight of these so that everybody can have one even in a totally full game. It's got references to the cards on one side. It's got references to the turns on the other side. And then this play deck is the meat of the thing. This is all the cards you're going to have in your hands you're going to play during the game. There's seven different kinds of cards in here. Let's break those down. First thing that we've got naturally in a gunfight is guns. If two guns are played on you, you're going to take a wound. That is the basic thing that happened. Next up, you've got armor. One armor cancels one gun. So let's say you've got two guns and an armor plate on you. Armor is going to cancel one of the guns, leaving you one, not enough to deal you a wound. So you are safe in that circumstance. Now we got money. Money is what that we have just stolen a ton of. Money you're going to put in your bank and you're going to spend that in a later phase of the game where money talks. You can use it to get information, you can use it to heal wounds. We'll come back to that in a minute. Next up is crime. Crime is played on you, that's going to cancel one of your monies either from your stack or from your bank. One crime gets rid of one money. The mole card is interesting. That is actually going to cause the player who it's played on to switch their role with the boss's role. And I'll show you where that boss card comes in uh, in a little bit. But the mole is maybe going to make somebody change teams. Hit. This is a card that lets you straight up deal a wound to some player as long as you have three money in order to pay for it. You don't need guns. You can deal a wound straight up as long as you've got the money. Last, intel. Intel, if it's played on you, lets you look at somebody else's roll card, find out what team they are on. So here's setup in Never Bring a Knife. The first thing that you're going to do is figure out how to set the deck up, and the number of each roll that you're going to use is going to depend on how many players there are in the game. Go ahead and take any cards that you don't need, put them back in the box. So you shuffle these cards up, and you deal one roll card to each player also going to deal one roll card to the middle of the table. This is that boss roll. Come back to that in a minute. Next thing that you're going to do is search through here and you might take out a couple of intel cards depending on how many players there are in the game. That scales with the player count. Last thing that you're going to do is grab the mole card and grab the hit card. You're going to make these the first two cards of the discard pile. You're not going to see those cards until the deck gets reshuffled. So they'll get shuffled in later in the game. Last thing, look at your roll card. So you know what team you're on. And you can look at the roll card of the player to your left. So you're gonna start the game knowing whether that player is on your team or not. Never Bring a Knife is played in rounds, and each round is very simple. Dealer is gonna deal out four cards to each player to form their hand. Now once everybody's got a hand, the player to the left of the dealer is going to start. When your turn comes, you get to play one card, you can play it on anybody that you want. When you play a card on somebody, you're going to put it in their stack, and that is just a name for the cards that are accumulating in front of that player. Now there's three rules about playing cards. They're very simple. First rule is, the first time you play a card in a round, you cannot play it on yourself. Your first card that you play has to go on someone else. 
Rule number two is that the first card into somebody's stack has to be played face up. The second, third, and fourth cards in that stack, those can be face down. Rule number three, each stack can only hold four cards. So since everybody starts with a four card hand, since everybody's stack can only hold four cards, at the end of the round, everybody is gonna have exactly four cards in their stack. So we'll just play those out. After all the cards have been played out, everybody's stack's got four cards in it, we move on to the reveal. So everybody is gonna take their four cards, shuffle them up, because nobody gets to know which cards were played on them by who, and then they can all get turned face up. So this four player got four guns. That is enough to do two wounds to them, one wound card for each of them. It's easy to just tuck those underneath there so we know who they apply to. Now the cards get discarded, after they are revealed. Over here, crime cancels money, armor cancels gun, nothing happens to that player. Over here, three guns is enough to deal one wound, that extra gun sort of goes to waste, and the money is going to get banked for later. cards in front of me has got armor canceling a gun, two money, gets banked for later. All right, after that part of the round goes down, the money talks phase goes. Starting with the player to the left of the dealer, players can spend their money in order to do two different things. First thing that you can do, you can spend three money to heal a wound. Now players can't add their money together from different players, but if one player has three money, they can spend it to heal a wound. You can heal your own wound, you can heal a wound on somebody else. You can also spend money, again three money, to look at someone's roll card. Now in a seven or eight player game, this only costs two money to look at somebody's roll card, but this can be a very important way to get information about what's going on at the table. So when your turn comes, you can spend money, three money to heal a wound, yourself or someone else, three money to look at someone's roll card, or two money in a seven or eight player game. In Never Bring a Knife, these rounds continue until somebody's got three wounds on them. Once somebody's got three wounds, if that state continues until the end of the round, that is, if no one manages to heal any of those wounds, then that player is going to fall. When that happens, everyone on that player's team loses, everyone on the other team wins. Now sometimes more than one player can go down in the same turn. In that case, whichever team had the fewest number of players go down is going to win the game. If it's a tie, if one fell on each team, for example, then we go to the boss and the boss's team wins. That is Never Bring a Knife. If you are a fan of a little bit of bluffing, a little bit of roll deduction, a ton of bullets, uh, this is a game that you're going to want to check out. Come to the Atlas Games website and have a look. Give it a try at a convention. Check it out at your friendly local game store. Hey, thanks for watching today. I'm Jeff Tidball from Atlas Games, and this has been Never Bring a Knife.